you've released some songs on Bandcamp. Yes. And you have some on your SoundCloud. Yes. But you have no actual EP or album yet. That is true. What is what is coming up? The EP is coming up. So that will be a six song EP. It's called Moonfruit. Moonfruit. Love Moonfruit. It. Are you releasing that independently or yes. through someone? Yes, I'm gonna do that independently. I think first through Bandcamp, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go from there. See what cool. happens. Uh, why Moonfruit? What does that mean? Moonfruit. Okay, so Moonfruit. It sounds delicious. I know. It sounds really good. That's the main reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, my ass um, guava. <laughs> kiwi. Um, so I mean, like, there's a fruit called star fruit. Moon was my nickname when I was like little, mm. and also um, just like I don't know. That's. I'm very. Like, I like stars and things. I don't know. Do you think your album art is going to resemble this at all? How'd you get my album? <laughs> Do you think that this is going to be at all similar to your album art? This is my album art. Mm -hmm. The album cover, I have this kind of picture in my mind. I think I'm going to kind of paint it and then do the rest with some editing software, but kind of get like a moon here and then like peeling it open like you might peel oh. open an orange mm -hmm. and it'll be like a really bright like pink and green fruit inside. That's cool. Those are the best fruit colors like we just said. Guava exactly. Kiwi. We yeah. just said that. Who helps you with your music when it comes to like making it or the direction you want to take it in? I work with uh, Treehouse Recording Studios which is they're like a small um, recording studio in sort of like Panga area. Is it in an actual treehouse? It's run by elves, and it's, <laughs> it's run by the Keebler elves. Oh man, it must be good snacks at the <laughs> and studio. Oh, so many cookies. Oh, pecan oh, sandies. <laughs> Damn it, pecan sandies. I was about to say that. <laughs> it's run by Justin Gariano and Dusty Schaller, and okay. they're amazing. How do you hook up with them? Um, they're Justin's little sister. Uh, her name is Janessa. We've been friends for years and years, and their family has like just been very like welcoming to me and we've been super close. She's a guitar player, songwriter, so talented. And yeah, I just like started kind of working with Justin. Do you have plans for physical release? I do. I really, I mean, I'd love to do vinyl. That's yes. like, that's that's the goal. That's, that's the whole, always the that's goal. the whole reason I wanted you here. Now you can leave, you answer the question. I'll see you <laughs> Bye, later. Bye, thank you. I want to know where you get your influence from. Uh, what did you grow up listening to? So I grew up listening to like Tom Waits, um, Bob Dylan, Van Morrison, uh, Bruce Spring, all the dad music, like Bruce Springsteen. Dad rock. It's dad rock. Um, and that was like, I don't know, that's like what I think of when I think of like childhood music. Okay. But then recently, um, St. Vincent, Bjork, yes. uh, Leaky Lee. We actually compared your music to like a very chill Bjork sound. I, that's it. That's all I need. We, said, we yeah. said that before you got here. Was there an album on heavy rotation as you were making up these songs or? Not really. Um, I think, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of realize things are influenced by artists kind of after I write them, if that makes sense. Like yeah. I'll like write something and be like, oh, that sounds very, like I can tell that in my mind I was thinking about, you know, basically all of post when mm. that was in my head or like you know I was thinking of like Strange Mercy or something yeah it kind of like filters in and then I kind of realize it as I go cool okay. do yeah. you have a way of writing music like do you try to write two songs a day or once or do you have a structure <laughs> no no it just I don't know it kind of happens when it happens like mm -hmm. I write I think the most in the shower okay. like I, that's I, I do my best thinking I mean yeah that's like I don't know I like it kind of just happens when it happens. I mean, usually I'll write something when there's something going on. You know what I mean? Like, usually when I write songs, I'm not just, like, writing a song. Like, it's it's very much about something that's happening in my life or that I was thinking about or that Makes I Makes it real. That's good. Yeah. yeah, that's, I think, that's kind of the only way I can do it. If I, like, sit down and be like, I'm going to write a song right now, I it just it yeah. shit every honestly, time. Honestly, I think that's kind of, like, the key of making such a good song is having a like something behind it yeah and I you, totally agree with you that. can you can hear it in your music you can really tell everything comes from a place it's not just out there yeah thank you that's, cool. that's yeah I try for that okay so we have a question we like to ask it is if you could collaborate with any artist oh, pick no. one living artist that you could collaborate with and one dead <laughs> go Beethoven <laughs> Right off the bat. Would okay. you guys fight over like piano? Like who wants to play the piano? Like you'd be like, hey, no, dueling, dueling pianos, dueling pianos. Oh, so you want to be against him? 
You want to beat Beethoven at piano battling. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Who does it this. though? That's the dream. Um. David Byrne. Hold on, hold on. She, to repeat that because she's oh. whispering things behind <laughs> your back as if we're not on camera. <laughs> Damn it, Sandy. Damn it, Sandy. <laughs> what was that? She's like everyone fired. just saw that happen. <laughs> David Byrne. For a Whoa. living. Very interesting. Uh, I just think he's so cool and weird and talented. Yeah, he's, I think, one of the most prolific and talented musicians ever to exist, probably. So He does everything. Answer. He did a album with St. Vincent, and then we were in, like, Bossa Nova, and he was in, like, albums with random people yeah. from Brazil. Just I was like, gonna say, because he's, like, he's done so much collaborating, and it's everywhere. all just weird and cool. He, Anyone else? I think your voices would, would match be each beautiful. other very well. It would be a nice collaboration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Dude. Such a like power female album. That's all I want, honestly. Yeah. One of my biggest inspirations, also David Bowie. Bowie, yeah. Gotta have that Bowie. Gotta have that Bowie. Gotta have that. All Bowie. about that Bowie. I could see you being inspired by David Bowie. Love for David sure. Bowie. What do you want people to get out of your album? You know, like what do you want those girls to look, to think about whenever they're listening to you and stuff? Or boys. Girls, just girls. Only girls. No, I feel like girls like, age twelve. <laughs> Only. My target audience. Demo. Target audience. That's the target audience. Um, that's a really good question. Um, I think, well, okay, playing on like the girls listening to my album track of things. Um, so I like, you know, this past summer I got kind of like a taste of what it's like to be a girl in the like music industry industry, like not just as a recording artist, and it, like, it's horrible. It's hard. It's yeah. really hard. And so, I think, you know, because I have had like you know a pretty big hand in kind of the whole artistic creation of my songs i mm -hmm. think i don't know i just really hope that you know i guess girls can listen to you know music like mine music like saint vincent's um bjork's and be inspired to do that yeah. you know and not be intimidated because to be in that box yeah exactly because mm -hmm. like you know wanting to be a producer as a girl is so it's really intimidating like, it really yeah. is. And you don't hear a lot, you know, there's no, like, female equivalent of, like, Timbaland, you know? Like, there's no, there's, like, Not really, all, the, no. all the big producers you hear about are guys. And that's, yeah. So I think, yeah. you know, I'm not a producer, but, like, for girls to kind of, you know, hear an album that, like, you know, is is really created by and, you know, kind of the brainchild of just a 17 year old girl i think that's like super powerful i hope it is yeah. yeah and then just in general i think my music is kind of geared toward i don't know i want people to to feel things i mean that's like such a like cliched artist thing to say but like it's true like i hope people listen to my songs and like think about you know what it's like to feel things really strongly and cool go through that yeah, that's what I really liked about, you know, what you're about. We don't see that. We don't have those many inspirations out there for girls that, you know, feel like they have to look a certain way, they have to act yeah. a certain way. It's just, like, so cool to have someone so young not be pressured by the industry itself. So it's, like, it's so... I know. It's that. what it is. Like, yeah, I think. I, I, could, I could rant about it forever, uh, and you'd be here yeah. forever. But, um, ding! Um, but, yeah, I think... It's really important for girl musicians and producers and singers and songwriters and everything to like just be themselves as a person and not think of themselves as a female artist but just as an artist and just as a producer awesome yeah cool. so thank you for coming on the show you know this was awesome i uh we Thanks talked about a lot of interesting <laughs> things on the camera and off and a lot of them off and most of them off um but yeah we're all really excited for your ep i will be there if you have a release show or anything like that i'll be there I'll be arms open um so thank you thank you and thank you no problem thank you for coming i'm matt i'm mules and i'm sandy and this is damn, damn it, it sandy, sandy.